بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my students? I hope that you're happy and healthy and ready for today's lesson which will be listen and discuss and we will be beginning unit one So in the beginning let's see the unit goals we have the vocabulary goals like personality characteristics and technology the functions ask for clarification and confirm, discuss using technology for communication. We have the grammar, auxiliary verbs. We have the listening, listen for specific details. Always uh, listen for specific details. We have also the pronunciation. Uh, it's focusing on the syllables, which we'll know later. Uh, we have reading, writing, and the last thing will be form, meaning, and function. So before we begin, I have a question for you. How do you communicate with your friends when you're not in school? You're, when you're outside, when you're not in school, how do you communicate with your friends? Do you use your cell phone, your mobile phone to communicate with your friends? Or maybe use your computer to chat with your friends? Or maybe even walk and go to their house, home, apartment, etc. So do you use your phone? Do you use your computers or laptop? Or do you go personally to your friend. So of course, maybe all three of them. It's okay, maybe all three of them. So this is the profile of the first character we have. His name is Faisal al-Harbi. He's male, age 19. His home is, he lives in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. He lives in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. So let's listen to what he has to say in his profile. I believe in living life to the fullest. My friends call me Adventure Boy because I'm very spontaneous and I love to do new things. There's almost nothing I won't try once. For example, I've gone bungee jumping and parachuting. I've eaten shark fin soup and chocolate covered crickets. I like to set challenges for myself, and I've found that I can do anything I set my mind to. I'm also a very straightforward person. I say what I mean and I mean what I say. If you ask my advice, you're going to get it. So you see, this is a profile page you put on the internet, in social media, where you identify yourself, you give your information, your name, your gender, and you write a little bit about yourself. Also here we have, what does it say? Send a message, add as a friend, forward to friend, send a smile. If you want to add him to your friend's circle or not. If you like his profile, if you like what he has to say about himself, you think, the character, you like the character, you can add him as a friend. The second character here, his name is Luke Mitchell. He's male, age 17. He lives in London. So let's listen to what uh, Luke has to say about himself. Okay. So the first thing you should know about me is that I'm obsessed with technology and media. I have to be plugged in all the time. I spend hours each day on the web and playing computer games. I'm a lot like my dad. He's a software engineer and he loves technology and spending time on the computer, too. It drives my mom crazy. But just because I love technology doesn't mean I'm a loner. I'm always hanging out with my friends. Sometimes I spend hours talking with friends online. I'm a pretty funny guy and I like cracking people up. My approach to life is laid back. I like helping others lighten up and not take life so seriously. So... What we have listened to now, Luke, what, uh, what he has to say about himself, that he is obsessed with technology and media, and he always has to be plugged in, plugged in all the time. So now we know that he likes to sit at home, not always, of course, but most of the time. And he says about himself, I'm not a loner, I don't like to sit alone, but he likes to stay plugged in. Plugged in, it means that you are always online. He likes technology. He's obsessed with technology. He's always thinking about technology. Maybe he's, he likes playing online. We don't know. He said, I'm not like my dad. He's a software engineer. So he's, he, he says he's not like his dad, which is who, who is a software engineer. And he loves technology and spending time on the computer too. Too, it means that like I'm like my father. We both like to sit on the computer. The third character here, his name is Ahmed Al Ali, male, aged 22 years old. He lives in Dammam, Saudi Arabia. So let's listen what Ahmed has to say about himself. If I had to describe myself with one phrase, it would be down to earth. 
I also love being outdoors. Being in nature makes me feel peaceful and happy. I especially love the quiet of morning. One of my favorite things to do is wake up really early and go for a long hike. I'm not always quiet, though. I have a few very close friends, and we spend hours talking and laughing. My family and friends mean everything to me, and they know that they can depend on me for anything. I'm a good listener. I'm not the type of person who tells people what they should do when they have a problem. Instead, I give lots of support and encouragement. So we see here Ahmed is talking about himself. He says, if I had to describe myself with one phrase, if, you want, if he wants to summarize himself in one phrase, it would be down to earth. Down to earth, which means that I'm humble. I'm a people person. Uh, I also love being outdoors. And like before, I like Luke before, he says, I love being outdoors, being in nature, makes me feel peaceful and happy. I especially love the quiet of morning. One of my favorite things to do is wake up really early and go for a long hike. So he likes to going outside and like Luke before. So we know that he's a down to earth, he's a people person, he likes to go out. So if you like this character and you think that maybe he will be a good friend of yours, you can add him or maybe send a message or add as a friend or forward to a friend of yours that you think that they will click together and they will be good friends. So now we will listen again. You will listen again, but this time try to read along. While you are listening, try to read along with the reader. Let's listen. I believe in living life to the fullest. My friends call me adventure boy because I'm very spontaneous and I love to do new things. There's almost nothing I won't try once. For example, I've gone bungee jumping and parachuting. I've eaten shark fin soup and chocolate covered crickets. I like to set challenges for myself and I've found that I can do anything I set my mind to. I'm also a very straightforward person. I say what I mean and I mean what I say. If you ask my advice, you're going to get it. Faisal here says about himself that he is a straightforward person. What does it mean to be a straightforward person? He says here, I'm a very straight, uh, straightforward person. What does it mean? Yes, that's correct. It means that he is honest. What he says, what's in his mind, he don't hide, he doesn't hide anything. Straightforward, it means from the word itself, straight forward. I don't have anything to hide. If I want to say something to you, I will say it. I say what I mean and I mean what I say. This is another description for uh, being a straightforward person. I mean what I say. And I say what I mean. I don't hide anything. I don't have anything to hide. You're going to get it. Now, let's listen to the other person, Luke. And remember, try to read along. Okay. So the first thing you should know about me is that I'm obsessed with technology and media. I have to be plugged in all the time. I spend hours each day on the web and playing computer games. I'm a lot like my dad. He's a software engineer and he loves technology and spending time on the computer, too. It drives my mom crazy. But just because I love technology doesn't mean I'm a loner. I'm always hanging out with my friends. Sometimes I spend hours talking with friends online. I'm a pretty funny guy and I like cracking people up. My approach to life is laid back. I like helping others lighten up and not take life so seriously. So look here, he says that I'm a lot like my dad. How is that? That they both like computer. He said, I'm a lot like my dad. He's a software engineer and he loves technology and spending time on the computer too. We both like to sit uh, on, the, on the computer, using the computer. It drives my mom crazy. This makes the mother crazy. But just because I love technology doesn't mean I'm a loner. Just because I love technology, it doesn't mean I like to sit alone. He says, I always, I'm always hanging out with my friends. Sometimes I spend hours talking with my friends online. He says here online. Unlike, unlike Ahmed before, who, who wants to go out and meet with his friends. Luke here likes to spend hours talking with his friend, but on Line. So we know that he likes to sit at home and speak to the friend online. 
So next, let's, let's listen again to Ahmed Al Ali and remember to read along. If I had to describe myself with one phrase, it would be down to earth. I also love being outdoors. Being in nature makes me feel peaceful and happy. I especially love the quiet of morning. One of my favorite things to do is wake up really early and go for a long hike. I'm not always quiet, though. I have a few very close friends, and we spend hours talking and laughing. My family and friends mean everything to me, and they know that they can depend on me for anything. I'm a good listener. I'm not the type of person who tells people what they should do when they have a problem. Instead, I give lots of support and encouragement. So Ahmed here describing himself, I have a few very close friends. Even though Ahmed likes to go out uh, in nature, hiking, he says, I have a few very close friends. Sometimes that's better. Sometimes having uh, a few close friends, very few close friends, is better than having a lot of friends, but none of them are close to you. So having close friends, friends that you can depend on, is sometimes better for you. I have a few very close friends and we spend hours talking and laughing. Also, he says here, my family and friends mean everything to me. So my whole life is my family and my friends. They mean everything to me and they know that they can depend on me for anything. So he is talking about himself. He's saying I'm very dependable for my family and my friends. I'm a good listener. I'm not the type of a person who tells people what they should do when they have a problem. Instead, I give lots of support and encouragement. So I don't tell you what to do. Maybe I will give advice, support, encouragement. Then your friend, his friend will decide what to do. So here's an activity for you. Find two important details about each profile. So read again every profile and find out two important details about each profile and listen uh, and list three or four words or phrases from the profile that describe the person's personality. So read again the each profile and give me two important details about each profile and then list three or four phrases or words from the profile that describe the person personality. So you can pause the video now and read again and answer this question. So now let's begin with the first one, Faisal al-Harbi. He's spontaneous. Spontaneous. What does spontaneous mean? Yes, that's correct. Spontaneous means that a person is ready to do something at a moment's notice without a lot of planning. So sponta spontaneous means that you will do anything without planning. No one knows what we'll do next. That's being spontaneous. So Faisal Harbi is spontaneous, likes to set challenges for himself, straightforward, honest, and constantly late. So these are some uh, of the uh, profile that describe Faisal Al Harbi. What about the second person, the second profile? Very good, Luke Mitchell, obsessed with technology, just like his father, of course. Not a loner. He says, even though I'm always home online, but I'm not a loner. Funny laid back. He says, I'm funny, I'm laid back, I'm not a loner. You might see me always at home, but I'm not a loner. I speak with my friends, I chat with my friends online. Also, he's obsessed with technology just like his father, which drives, of course, his mother crazy. What about Ahmed? Excellent. Ahmed Al Ali, he says, I'm down to earth, loves being outdoors, a good listener, and dependable. Yes, that's correct. He says, I'm down to earth, I love being outdoors. He always, he's always hiking, waking up early, walking, hiking. He loves being outdoors. He says, I'm a dependable person. I'm a good listener. I won't tell you what to do, but I will give you the encouragement and the advice that you need. So this is some phrases from the text and their meanings. Being plugged in, being plugged in, it means to be connected to some kind of technology. It means you're online. 
it means that you are online. So plugged in to be connected to some kind of uh, technology. Crack people up, crack people up. When you say someone cracks you up, it means that they make you laugh. Crack people up, make people laugh. Lighten up, lighten up. Don't be serious. When someone says to you, lighten up, it means don't be serious. Don't always be serious. Lighten up, not to be serious. Down to earth, realistic and practical. To be realistic and practical. A person who likes simple things in life, such as friends and family. Humble, you can say. So down to earth, it means realistic. Uh, he likes simple things like friends and family. Okay, let's move on to the quick check part. The first exercise is a vocabulary. Who do you think would most likely do the following actions? So we have a list of actions. Who do you think would do this action? Is it Faisal, Luke, or Ahmed? So let's look at the first action. Chat with friends over the computer. Chat with friends over the computer. Yes, that's correct. It's Luke. He says, sometimes I spend hours talking with my friends online. Very good. It says here, Luke. Number two, go camping with friends. Go outdoors and camping with friends. Yes, that's right. It's Ahmed. He said, being in nature makes me feel peaceful and happy. So he likes to be in nature with his friends. So the second one is Ahmed. The third one, go bungee jumping. Go bungee jumping. Very good. It's Faisal because he says, I've gone bungee jumping and parachuting. Excellent. So here, go bungee jumping is Faisal. Number four, help a friend with a problem. Help a friend with problem. Yes, excellent. Again, it's Ahmed Al Ali. He said, "My family means my family and friends means everything to me, and I like to give lots of support and encouragement to them whenever they are in a problem." So number four is Ahmed. Number five, share share his honest opinion about his friend's problem. Share his honest opinion. He is straightforward. Share his honest opinion about his friend's problem. Very good. It's Faisal Al Harbi. If you ask my advice, you're going to get it. I will be straight forward with you. So it's Faisal. Number six, make a friend laugh about his problem. Make a friend laugh about his problem. Very good. It's Luke. He says, I'm a pretty funny guy and I like cracking people up. I like cracking people up. Make them laugh. It's Luke. The last one, spend evenings watching TV with his friends. He likes to spend uh, he, watching TV, spending evenings watching TV with his friends. Yes, that's correct. Again, it's Luke. He said, I'm obsessed with technology and media. I, I have to be plugged in all the time. So he, that's why he's watching TV with his friends. The second exercise, the comprehension, discuss the meaning of these expressions with a partner. Decide which person each proverb describes best. Each proverb describes best. Is it Faisal, Luke, or Ahmed? The first one is better late than never. Better late than never. Yes, that's correct. It's Faisal, as we read from his profile. The second one. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Or as they say, no pain, no gain. So nothing ventured, nothing gained. It means that you won't gain anything without doing anything. Excellent. That's again Faisal. Number three, silence is golden. Silence is golden. Someone who likes to be peace and quiet. Yes, that's correct, that's Ahmed. He said he likes peace and quiet. The apple doesn't fall fra far from the tree. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. You say this when someone is exactly like his father or a member from his family. So this is very obvious that it's Luke because he likes computer 
just like his father. Number five, laughter is the best medicine. Laughter is the best medicine. Someone who helps people by making them laugh. Yes, very good. That's again Luke. Honesty is the best policy. Someone who believes in being straightforward and believes in being honest. Honesty is the best policy. Yes, that's correct. That is Faisal. So here's a little bit of exercise to you. Which person is most like you? Now that you have read their profile, which one is like you? Why? Which person is most unlike you and why? So which one you think that is exactly like you and why? And who is the one is the opposite from you and why? Write your own profile. Try to write your own profile. Exchange and discuss your profile with your partner. So when you finish your profile, switch it with a partner, then discuss these profiles. And that's it for today. See you next session, inshallah. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik. Ashadu la ilaha anta astaghfiruka wa tubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum.